Hello, I thought I'd come on tonight and show you some of the projects that I made using some dies that I was sent from Lily at In Love Arts, um, which is a shop that sells amazing dies and stamps on AliExpress. So without further ado, I'll get on and show you some of the lovely things she sent me. I'll share this one last because it's the biggest, but... I will start with, let's see, I'll, oh, I've got one on the floor, bear with me. I'll start with these bag topper dies. They're both, the depth of cut on them is absolutely amazing. They cut first time, there's no having to poke the bits out, they all come out smoothly. Now I use them to do as you'd expect them to do, to create some lovely bag toppers. And I use, on this one, I used half of the die. It's got like a, a perforation line and the details down one side. I used this half of the die. It's easy to trim it. You just trim it along where the... the um, the score line is trim it through across there and then you can use the solid part to create like a bottom to your bag so that you've got matching bottom and top just makes your box look a little bit more special and then this one I used another die that they sent me these lovely botanical border dies um, you'd think it would be a nightmare to cut with all of that detail but it's not they cut first time every little bit of detail out and there is tiny tiny little bits and pieces that fall out you get two one's a deep almost like broidery on glaze die cut and the other one is that beautiful lacy border that i used for the bottom of my bag on both sides it just sort of like makes your gift bags look extra special so that's those ones um, I got uh, oh I also made because I wanted the die I like dies that do more than just one thing I used this die the bag topper die I die cut it out and then I die cut an oval which sort of covered the workings of the handle and I used it to create this lovely little uh, die cut label for my card. If you can see, it's it's the bag topper die, and under the ribbon you'll be able to see the where the crease line goes across. But all I did to do that was I die cut this once left all of the pieces in the die and then ran it through again with another piece of card so it was the um, lovely pink piece of card and all it did then was cut the outside edge because all of the detail was filled in with card that way I cut myself an outline to lay the detailed bit on which gave me a double layered border so easy to do and you can see the effect it makes an absolutely lovely topper for your cards so that's another thing I did with that die next die is the let me see here it is the this is called floral frame set of dies let me get a piece of card so that I can show you up close. You get four dies. They're really de super detailed. Again, they cut like butter first time. And that big one is a good... It's 13 centimetres or five inches in in width and depth so it's a really good size and i use that to create 
this card which I use the large die to cut the aperture in my card and then put the die cut part onto the um, onto the inside stuck it down on the inside with the all of the layers if you can see all of the detailed layers and that gave such a pretty effect on my card and I also used it to create the top of my box and on this one you can really see all of the detail of all the little die cuts this one matches perfectly with that one the only one I didn't use was the, the really tiny one and I made those so I've got a matching box top for it's a lovely box card to send somebody and then used the same ribbons on that that I did on the card and then made some pretty flowers to sort of finish it off sorry that I'm filming at night and the lighting isn't very good um, my next dies were these two lovely snowflake border dies they're like opposite angles so you could use them on opposite sides of the card and I used those to make this card which is a um, acetate fronted card I used the snowflakes borders to line both sides of a piece of acetate which I attached to my um, card back so they created the front of the card and then the I put a piece of glitter card on the inside with the sentiment so it stands on your shelf and you look through the acetate to see the sentiment um, again they cut beautifully and I put, put, I put little crystals in the centres of the snowflakes but the detail is amazing. Such a fine details in dies. For the price they are, you just wouldn't expect it. I don't think there's a die here that's um, over five pounds. I think everything is way under five pounds. This die is the next one that I used, and it has it cuts a um, a lovely like snowflake a uh, Christmas bauble with a flourish and I made this card so all I did was I die cut the the baubles out of this lovely red velvet card and then I die cut them again out of gold mirror card and inlaid it into my red velvet card and then just added a sentiment such a quick and simple card that is thin enough to go through our just normal post, so no large letter. But I wanted that die to do more than just make a Christmas bauble because it's all well and good us buying Christmas dies, but if they can do more than Christmas, you know, even better. <clears throat> so I used it to cut the flourishes. I cut the baubles off and just used it for the flourishes on my final project so all that is is that lovely top flourish with the baubles cut off and it, it just gives behind some flowers on a card it gives such lovely detail I'll show you that laced up in a minute the other die that I've used on here is their Merry Christmas sentiment now it cuts into the card with the the um, Christmas and then the Merry is cut out of the card and this is the die oh it sounds like my laptop is dying and that is four inches in width or just over 10 centimeters so it's a good size um, for like the centers of your Christmas cards so yeah I cut this I die cut the uh, sentiment out of the red red the gold card and placed on the red the little flourishes are from that bauble die now this die opens up and you can see where I've used the final die that I got from in love arts which was a two-part box die now you've got your box bottom 
which is just a one pass through you score that actually perforates the score lines for you you can see the dotted effect uh, so it's all perforated for you you don't have to then run it through a score you just crease it with your your bone folder and then the top is the same all of the perforations are put in for you so it's really easy to crease and I made 24 of these darling little boxes with their little matching lids to make a advent calendar that you can open up can you see that and the boxes are such good size you can fit things in like this one I've got a um, lip balm, quite a good size lip balm um, and I also got put in it a quite a big sweet because you've got to have sweets at Christmas uh, what else did I put in quite a big size scented candle and it wouldn't be a craft gift without some little dyes and things inside too. Or if you're sending it from a crafter to a crafty friend, you could fill up all 24 little boxes. could all be full of little embellishments, ribbons, lace, whatever. So that's the... You can see them all there. And both sides of this are A4 so it's like A4 a piece of A4 board uh, I just used the back of you know when you get a stack of paper like a paper pad I just used the backs off of paper pad and covered it with decorative paper and then I made um, a uh, what do you call the spine of the, the book out of just double thickness uh, paper decorative paper I'll put a little bit of braid on mine for decoration and then I made the um, I made that by just using a punch and then added a ribbon thread a die through the center um, and then you can just tie it up the good thing with this you can get it out year after year and fill it with different things but I think that's quite a nice way to you could do like beauty things in there as well I decorated it at the back on the same on the back. I can do a separate video on this if anyone's interested in seeing how I made the um, the advent calendar. I will do a separate video, but um, I made it to showcase those these lovely box dies. I made loads of them because I think they'd also be nice as decorated, you know, to have as little um, place settings on your Christmas plate. Don't forget, you don't have to use these just for uh, running up to Christmas. You could do one running up to Easter. You could do uh, on the days leading up to somebody's birthday. Um, they don't have to be just, just for Christmas, really. So I hope you like all the projects that I've made. Um, I've tried to do a variant of different things so that you could see that your dies don't have to be used just for one thing. And I will be showing all of these dies on my blog. So you, all of the cards and the dies on my blog so that you can see up close what I've done with each one with a brief description of how I've made them. And I'll leave all the details for my blog, which is cotswoldcrafter.blogspot.co.uk. I'll leave the links below. Lily has kindly given us a... 15% uh, off voucher code which I will also leave below and I will leave the links to all of the dies too if you want to order any of them if you could use the link from my video that shows them that you've come from my video to buy them which sort of supports me um, yeah that's it uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you like what I've done with the dies. If you need any more information, just leave me a comment below and I'll come back and have a read. Thank you very much again. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.